It's espresso shot 188. God damn it. Hello, class. I'm your music teacher, Mr. Polsey. That's right. We got a groovy little beat today. <laughs> Take out those violins and focus on me. Look. My name's Mr. Paul Z. Yeah. Nobody ever spells my name right. And I kind of want to get in a fight, but it doesn't matter. I'm a classical guy. I do classical things. Look in my eye. I got the look. I look like I really need to shave my neck beard. I'm a little nerdy. Doesn't matter. Don't test me. Because in the teacher's lounge, I get... Kind of flirty. Okay, now. Back to class, guys. Do your thing. Yeah, nothing but a chicken wing. (laughs) No, seriously, get it back to class. And Mrs. Carter, shake that motherfucking ass. (laughs) Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. (laughs) What up, espressos? Shot 188. Let's talk. Uh, Hot weekend at Helium. Opened up for the boy Joe Dombrowski, Mr. D, if you don't already know. He's uh he came on the Patreon podcast. Dude's dude's a killer, and we had a nice little vibe. I went on his podcast, which you should also check out. It's called Social Studies. Find it everywhere, you know. But uh I got to co-host on his pod and it was fucking awesome. Same kind of thing, you know. We can relate to each other because both our dads are completely psycho. But it was fun. I'd say, uh, I'd say, hop on the Patreon, listen to that, and then definitely listen to his podcast too. But it was a it was a it was a fire weekend. Uh, And guess what, fam? Merch is coming. (laughs) Merch is coming. That's all I'm saying about that. But uh, yeah, before we get before we do the damn thing, uh, I just have a little something to get off my chest. <laughs> For eighty six news, this is Johnson on the internet going crazy. I found a story about chicken tenders being at the risk of extinction due to a global shortage. And uh, I think it's a little uh, funny because chicken fast food restaurants, sit-down restaurants, are always bragging about the color of their meat. Well, guys, uh, I just want you to know one little thing. This is not all white. (laughs) It's actually very fried. (laughs) Okay, I won't. I won't. I won't. But honestly, being serious, it is ironic that the people who take care of chicken are usually literally called... Chicken tenders. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, to all chicken tenders out there, Tyson, Purdue, uh, yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, we're going to need you to catch up. <laughs> oh, God, I, I know. <laughs> and if you can't figure out how to get the chicken back on the tables, just wing it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but, uh... Being, being completely honest towards the situation of the shortage, I know it affects a lot of people negatively. Um, you know if chicken tenders lose their job permanently and they go broke, chicken has one last resort. Chicken strips. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty six news. Ah. <clears throat> Johnson. <clears throat> I 
Um, yep. So very important news again. Uh, we've got our we've got our new seg popping off today. At the end of the show, we're gonna do ten minutes with one of my homies. His name's Alex Aiken. You guys will enjoy. But uh, we're on a little time crunch, baby. So let's get to the espresso. Quick, 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 quick. Question of the week. Espresso question of the week. What's something you do that should be illegal, but it isn't? Let's jump it off with a true fan member. He's on the Patreon squad. He's a regular. I don't know why he just had a stroke during that word, but he's a regular. Hey, oh, may, oh, may. What's something you do that should be illegal, but it isn't? Yo, it's Clint, a.k.a. Hey, oh, may, oh, may. What's something I do that should be illegal, but isn't? Uh, Domino's has a curbside <laughs> delivery time of two minutes. Oh, Otherwise, they shit. give you a free pizza. And I get a free pizza every fucking time. Like, <laughs> at least, it's something like eight out of ten times I've gotten a free pizza. And like the last three times in a row, <laughs> I've been there to pick up a free pizza and then gotten another one. Dude. I, I do everything by the books, too. I, I don't click the I'm here until I park. I put my lights on. I don't know how I'm getting away with this. But uh, That's so good. they sure are saving me a lot of dough. <laughs> this guy. <sighs> yep. Hey, yo, may, yo, main. Dude, always killer. That is true, though, and there's this type of person out there that only likes Domino's pizza. That person usually lives on the side of town where uh, people look very pale and have very pencil-thin mustaches, and there's usually a Walmart very close by. Domino's is good. Domino's tries so fucking hard, dude. Actually, you got to give it to them. They're not bad, and they try. they try, they do it all, bro. I can't believe they don't have, like, a Domino's collaboration with, like, Jordan or something. They try so... They have Domino's delivery cars. They have every fucking thing, dude. They have Domino's, like, the bags they carry are, like, actually ovens. They don't even have pizza bags. They just fucking bring an air fryer up to your front door with a pizza already in it. It's still cooking! <laughs> Our pizza's the best, right? <laughs> they try hard! It's not bad though. One time I had Domino I had Domino's recently and uh everything was super undercooked, but I was so hungry. You know when you're so hungry you just don't give a shit about how the food tastes for the first like 10 minutes, maybe like 5 minutes. Like I can be super hungry and eating a pile of dog shit for the first 5 minutes and then minute 6 I'm like maybe this isn't that good. You like come back to it like what is that? You're in like a daze for the first five minutes when you're starving. That's how I was eating this like barely cooked like cheesy bread from Domino's. I was like, oh, God, it's so good. Then like six minutes hit and I was like, I'm going to die. <laughs> and there's a hey, he's right, dude. Clint. First time I ever called him Clint. Wow. Actually, friends. Uh, There is a thing with you can really f like get three free pizzas every time you get a pizza if you want to me and my dad used to do this thing where we used to be like because we're bitches and every time we order pizza we're like um on the phone it's so annoying too like they're ever gonna get it right our order was just like are you fucking kidding me they had to be looking at each other making the pizzas like these mother we'd get light cheese this is the best pizza of all time light cheese extra sauce half mushroom and they couldn't, like, compute the light cheese thing because we live in Indiana land in the Midwest. And if you don't get extra cheese with light sauce, you're a felon. But every time we'd be like, light cheese, extra, because they put so much goddamn cheese on pizza. I swear to God, I can't even taste the cheese after a while. So we get light cheese, extra sauce, and every time we'd get the pizza back, it'd be normal. And we were like, this is not light cheese. And they'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, we'll make you another one. And we just got two free pizzas every time. But that little that little two-minute carryout thing he's talking about, they're putting a lot of pr 
pressure on themselves. Two minutes is not even 30 seconds. If you have two minutes to do something and you start thinking about one other thing, it's already been seven minutes here. Fuck! <laughs> True shit, though. Hey, oh, oh, man. Save me a little. Don't. Here we go. What's something that should be illegal that you do, but it isn't? Liam Pinheiro. Let's go. <laughs> you know what I do, Benny boy. You know exactly what I do. And I can't believe I'm even saying it to people that listen to your podcast, but here it goes. Thing I do that should be illegal, it's not. If I'm in a place and I have food stuck in my teeth what? and I don't have floss <laughs> with me, I don't care if I'm in a speech. car, I'm at somebody's house, I don't give a damn. I'll just pull out a strand of my own hair and use that bitch's Dude, that floss. Is, is that so weird? That's weird? Fucked. I guess that's weird to people, but it does the job, and it works, and it's better than having food stuck in your teeth. So that's what I do. Lock me up. I'm kind of into the handcuffs anyway. What? Who said that? Fucking idiot, man. Liam Pinheiro. Always coming with the heat. Bro, you guys are so good at this now. Remember the first time we did these voice messages, and everybody's like... Mm, hey, uh, I just fucking hate everybody. <laughs> I was like, all right, so uh, that's my fan base. But no, nah, dude, Liam, I've that's the craziest shit I've ever heard. I've never, I've never heard anyone ever do anything close to that. Put their hair from their head to get shit out of their teeth. I get it. If something's in your tooth, I remember I had a piece of fucking popcorn in my tooth for like seven weeks as a kid. And I would literally do anything to get that popcorn out. I remember getting a knife from the silverware drawer and, like, doing this. Like, stabbing the roof of my mouth. I was like, I don't care. It was like some Saw 6 shit. I want to play a game. You warm up this Pop Smart for 30 seconds. It's not cooked enough. But you eat a piece of popcorn that you think is going to be half popped because you like those. Go ahead. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> At that point, the popcorn will be lodged between your canine tooth and the other one behind it. That always kind of has a toothache anyway. You have six weeks to figure out how to get this out of your goddamn mouth. The time's ticking. But will you be picking your teeth? Or will you die? <laughs> That's what happened every time I eat, I eat popcorn. Right when I open the microwave, I want to play a game. Fuck! <laughs> I just want to watch a movie. I have a different idea. <laughs> yeah, so I probably in that situation, I would use my hair. But uh, I've just never heard of that. That's like the most unique thing. Like, you know, when somebody, you know, when they're like, go around the room and say three interesting things about yourself. Like, we had to do that at my job. The first, it sucks, dude. That's the worst moment of my life. Three interesting things about yourself. I'm like, God damn it. Why do I revert all the way back to like the three most uninteresting things ever? I'm like, I played football in college. I was raised in Indianapolis. And I like big buildings. I like tractors. I go, okay, uh, you can work in the kitchen only. We're not going to let actual customers see you or hear you. <laughs> Here's your apron. <laughs> Hair between the teeth, yo. That's insane. I guess uh, mine, kind of similar, maybe. When I get anxious or when I'm, like, freaking out, I don't, like, rub my pants. Like, some people rub their thigh, you know? Or, like, what's, like, an anxious tick? Bite their lip, bite their fingernail. I'm almost done biting my nails, I swear to God. But this is what I do. I take a pinch of my nose hair and just start ripping it out. God damn, why does it hurt so good? Yeah, that is weird. It's not weirder than putting your hair between your teeth, I swear. But pinching, but, like, because it's helping you, you know? I guess, I guess getting shit out of your teeth with your hair is helping you, too. But, dude, I think nose hair is the weirdest thing. Like, come on. It stops, like, the dust, so you don't inhale, like, uh, toxins, so you need nose hair. Shut up, Ashley, producer Ashley. Did I shave the shit out of my nose hair? Since when? Since I was 
10 when my best friend called me out for it. That's when I knew. My friend was like, bro, you already got nose hair? I was in third grade. I was like... Then I just had to grab a little pinch. All right, let's keep going. Jill Reed. G-I-L-L-R-E-E-D. Jill Reed. G-I-L-L. If your name's not actually Gil, I will submit some kind of uh, penalty to your parents for naming you this. Gil Reed, what's something you do that's illegal? What's something you do that should be illegal but it isn't? So when I want to watch somebody's story on Instagram but I don't want them to see that I'm watching their story, there's a website where you can go to and you can watch people's Instagram stories anonymously. <laughs> It's probably the most psycho thing that I think I've ever participated in. Hey, walking red flag. Damn, dude, that is crazy. Like, who cares? Jesus Christ. So all the people not watching my Instagram stories. Wanna fa. <laughs> Everybody watching my Instagram stories, what are you doing, you psychos? <laughs> That's really crazy. Who knew? Except for every single girl. Whoa. That is so crazy. What's the website? <clears throat> All right, let's keep going. K. Francis Norris, another good voice. Comedian from, I want to say South, I don't know where he is now. Just near Chicago, we'll say that. K. Francis Norris, what's something you do that should be illegal but isn't? For the last year, I've been stealing moss out of my neighbor's yard and using it to fill in the bare spots in my yard. <laughs> Not illegal. Feels pretty good. Dude. Moss. <laughs> I haven't thought about moss by a tree in like 17 years. <laughs> to cover your bald spots in your yard when you know you own a house and you're bored. Why aren't we just growing moss in the yard? I think grass is a lost cause, man. Why do we still have grass? Make it all turf. Don't even look at it ever again. But my dog shits and like... Okay, Ashley, producer, have a place in your backyard where the dog can crap. The rest of it can be turf. Cutting grass. Dude, aliens are watching us cut the grass, and they're just throwing back drinks and laughing their dicks off, smacking each other on the ass. Did you see? I kid cut off his hand when he was cutting the grass. It doesn't even need to be there. <laughs> That's how that really sounds. I translated it for you. Me and, Do me and Mr. D were talking about this on the Patreon. A little sneak peek. How come when you were cutting your grass as a kid, you know the first time you cut your grass, you're like, oh my God, I'm an adult now. Uh, and then you did it like two times and you're getting kind of comfortable with it. And then like the fifth time you did it, you tried to do it without shoes. And the your mom and dad repelled from the roof of your house with AK-47s and put them up to your head. And we're like, put on motherfucking shoes right now. This is an order and walked you into your house with a gun behind your back and your hands above your head? Why? Why is c mowing the lawn, cutting the grass, I never know which way to say it, why is that, why is it, why is it such a f crime when you don't have shoes on? Because you could step on something. You can step on, but what are you going to step on that the lawnmower isn't going to take care of? What, you have a human ch helicopter blade in a lawnmower right in front of you, what are you going to step on that it's not going to take care of? And if somehow the blade comes off the lawnmower and slices your feet off, do you think shoes like what are really going to help? What shoes are you wearing? <laughs> what shoes are you wearing? Steel toes? You wearing red wings while you cut the grass? I don't know, man. I'm just trying to get my feet tan. Let a player be. Let's keep going. Booer Scribbles. What's something you do that should be illegal, but it isn't? 
I never learned to tie my shoes like an adult. I still only know the bunny ears method. I'm 29. Mm. See, I don't, for some reason, I don't really, I don't really blame that. I don't think I learned how to do a lot of shit. And if it's still, if it works, like, why would I learn something uh, that I don't need to anymore? Like, if her, sh- if her shoe, if she's just fucking, she just has, like, zero arms and her face is always scuffed up from tripping and shit on her shoelaces. Yeah. Learn how to do it. But if you're swoop looping and bunny earing, if you're hopping around with bunny ears on your goddamn feet, then whatever. I wonder what things I haven't learned besides everything. I'm kind of, I'm kind of with that, though. Everybody thinks you need to learn, like, the most complex shit. Like, I, I don't know how to tie a tie. What's my solution for that? Don't ever wear one. <laughs> don't ever wear... I remember the first time I wore a tie in a shirt that was nice with a button-up and a jacket over the top and pants. And I, like, was going to my uh, internship at the news station. I like FaceTime my sister and she, she looked, she goes, what the hell are you wearing? Cause I, it's like my, it's my sister. She's used to me wearing like just t-shirts and shit and like uh, with a thong under and that's it, you know? But she's like, what are you wearing? And I was just wearing like a suit and tie. And she was like, damn. And I go, what? Like, is something fucked up? Like, did I miss a button? Like, is my hair weird? She goes, I just never, like, did you ever really think you'd be wearing those kind of clothes? And that's when I knew. I'm in the wrong profession for the 19th time. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know how to tie a tie, so I'm like, I guess I'll just never wear a tie. Sounds good to me. It's not a win or a lose, actually. It's just a draw. <sighs> it's your vissy. What's something you do that should be illegal, but it isn't? Hey, Ben, how's it going? Good, bro. Um, Thanks for asking, for real. Yeah, so... Fuck. <laughs> something illegal I do that I believe... Sh- or, sorry, something legal I do that uh, I believe should be illegal. my whole life, bro. Would, Don't, uh, worry about, Don't worry about the fumble. It would be snorting rails, uh, railing lines of pre-workout. I'm not going to lie. I, my doctor told me... I told my doctor about it. I've been getting nosebleeds and whatnot. He says it's not the right thing to do. There's more. If you couldn't hear him, he said he snorts lines of pre-workout. But, you know what, I, you gotta do what you gotta do to get that pump. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright. Have a good one, yeah. <laughs> the most, like, unconfident ending to a voice message. He knows he's fucked, listen to the end. But... You know what? I, you gotta do what you gotta do to get that pump. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Yeah. <laughs> the most I'm gonna die tomorrow laugh ever. Listen to. It. But you know what? I, you gotta do what you gotta do to get that pump. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Yeah. Nobody's ever done that laugh when they're not gonna like probably have a heart attack. <laughs> I've never used pre-workout. But okay, yeah, I lied. I used pre-workout in college for like three months, and it was like, all right. But I don't know. I don't know. I I uh, maybe I should because I god damn I can't I can't live for the shit anymore. I've been working out every day for so long. It's kind of like, what if I just quit? I swear, if I work out. If I work, if I don't work out for a week, I might never work out again. If you work out five days a week, you should get a free workout pass the next Monday, so you just don't have to go. I'm gonna walk into LA Fitness with my lunch ticket from fifth grade. <laughs> Snorting lines of pre workout. I guess it's better than f- shaking up a bottle for. 25 minutes while you're working out walking around the gym with it <laughs> might have a point there <laughs> alright here we go CLB Thompson what's something you do that should be illegal but it's not I keep eating the grapes in the grocery store 
They don't know. But I pay for them. Hold on. Why was this the most, like, relaxed, cool fucking thing ever? What was he doing during this? Like, getting a pedicure or something? With, like, someone feeding him grapes? Like, he's Cleopatra? Who's who's fanning him down with a big leaf? I keep eating the grapes in the grocery store. They don't know. But I pay for them. I wonder how many... I wonder how many grapes I've stolen from the grocery store, honestly. I'm thinking like 80 bags worth. Every time I go, I don't even know if I need groceries. I'm like, but I am going to get a grape. You know, they're not like watered down. Your mom's always like, rinse off the grapes. You always steal one from the store. It's all dusty and shit. <laughs> That's the only way we ate fruit growing up. Mom was like, you want fruit? You eat it. In the store. <laughs> what things have you done in the store that you probably shouldn't, besides eat an entire cookie cake that was for samples? <laughs> Dare, dude, I, do you, does anyone remember the phase that Target went through and it was like kind of Target revamped? Because Target used to be kind of whack and then they got super sexy overnight. What did Target do? They made their stores banging. Oh, they they hired that clothing company. They did the, the talk about a glow up Target. Target used to be ass. But at one point Target had fire samples. It was like it was like they would just give you cups of ice cream with apple pie in them. Like every day I went to Target, I was like the the, the fucking bakery bitch. That baker lady turns her back, you turn into James Bond. You're all, you're like on you're like crawling on the ground like below the cakes where they can't see. There's a little there's like the the bakery cookbook in front of the samples. You're like who's reading this? Right when that lady turns her back. I mean, no, I'm not seven years old still. Here we go. Noah Borer. We'll do like two more. What's something you do that should be illegal, but it isn't? Not knowing how to use a roundabout. I still don't know. I'm like, does everybody know? I'm always like, there's got to be one more of me in this roundabout that like kind of isn't sure. I'm going around and I got to go right out here, but there's two lanes. I don't know. You, it, it just separates. It's natural selection for driving. It is. And I should be dead. Every I can't believe it, bro. I shouldn't be allowed to drive. Here we go. Matt Robert, what's something you do that should be illegal but it's not? So something that I do that should be illegal but is not, all right, and hear me out on this, is when I'm out shopping... I don't care how fucking close I am to parking next to it. I refuse to put the shopping cart back in the shopping cart thing. All right. And not because I'm lazy, but because like you ever out and be shopping or like driving and just every fucking person that's out is just is just fucking annoying and just doing shit to just annoy like just ruin your day so like i try to do stuff that i can also ruin someone else's day so i'll try to tuck the the shopping cart like in the middle of a stain uh right kind of like right by behind a big truck that way people can't see it so you know they'll go to swoop in the parking spot real quick Fucking hit that shopping cart like 20 miles an hour. Be like, yep, you know what? That's what you get. He's just... <laughs> He's opposite of pay it, for pay it backwards. You piss me off? Guess what? I was pulling into a parking spot the other day, and there's a cart like right at the front of it. And I was like, what the fuck? I guess I can hit this cart real soft, and it'll like move out of the way so I can finish pulling up in the spot. Because I was like, I'm not getting out and moving this cart. And then, like, getting back in, like, fuck that. So I just, like, nudged it, like, a little bit with the front of my car, and it rolled away and hit another car. And the lady was in the car. But thank God she fucking, she laughed. Because <gasps> she watched the whole thing. 
But if we were at a dare, if we were at Target, I would have left. <laughs> Bye. Here we go. Obey the vag. Holy shit. What's something you do that should be illegal that isn't? Okay, so what should be illegal that isn't is blacking out every night. Like, that's insane. <laughs> I mean, in, in the hallway. Okay, so what should be illegal that isn't is blacking out every night. Like, that's insane. The way she says night is just everything I love. Okay, so what should be illegal that isn't is blacking out every night. Like, that's insane. Why is, why do I kind of, why does this, should this be like a TikTok audio or something? I just can picture her face like, yeah, the whole time. Okay, so what should be illegal that isn't is blacking out every night. This like, is, that's insane. This is one of those audio clips I want to put the reverb on. Like, what should be illegal, 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 but isn't, 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 is blacking out every night, 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 night. That's insane, night, And then a beat drops around it. What, what, what should be illegal? That's insane, insane. Blacking, blacking out. Oh, oh. <laughs> I swear I'm keeping that for good, dude. And it's going to stay in your head forever. It's insane hey, every nine. Hey. All right. Wow. Espresso question of the week. Let's do a vibe, 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 viral. Viral is a segment where I pick the most popular hashtags on the internet and just talk about them for a little bit. But before we go viral, <clears throat> I have to remind you, the Espresso Podcast is brought to you by Wave One Media. If you want to start your own show, visit thewaveone.com. All right, here we go. Hashtag family gatherings are... I think even if I had a girlfriend for 17 years, I still wouldn't bring her to my family Christmas. I don't think I could. I think it'd be so weird. <laughs> because I know what I did when my cousins brought their new girlfriends or their girlfriends to our Christmas. I was like, all we did was just, like, we were nice to them, but then, like, we just roasted them the whole time, too. Like, even they could have been so cool, but we... This one, I've said this before on this podcast, but it's just, it'll never leave my head. One time, my cousin brought his girlfriend over that he was dating for like two years, and she was like cool and shit. She was down. But like, we were all kind of like, mm, there's something. And, we, but we couldn't like pick it out. Like, she was, she was, she was, she wasn't hitting the, the like, the nah, bro, not, she's not the one button, but she was close. And then one time we were all like playing video games, like you know how that goes. Later on in the night, like all the parents like eventually start hanging out, and then all the kids start hanging out, and it's fucking lit. We were all all the kids are playing video games, and she went in there with my cousin. She was like, we were playing fo uh, we were playing a football video game, and she like looked at the TV and she's like, oh my god, is this Maiden? Yeah, Maiden, NFL Maiden, and we were just trying to play it so cool. And then my little cousin just all of a sudden was like, just. <laughs> I was trying to play it cool in front of my cousin with that he, that was dating her because I didn't want to make him feel bad. But I was like, damn, dog, Maiden, you you can't. Maiden 2004. I'm John Maiden. <laughs> Family gatherings are so hard to leave. This is impossible. Say you're leaving your family Christmas at 4 p.m. and actually do it. No one's ever done that in the history of the world. That should be uh, a, a fear factor thing or like a escape room. The new escape room should be your family Christmas party. You have to, I want to play a game. <laughs> You have to leave at 4 p.m. to go to your other Christmas. 
if you leave at 401, you're dead. There's no way, dude. There is no way. Something will always happen. Are you sure you don't want this pie? You're like, no, I don't want this pie. But then you're like, my car's behind your car. I got to pull out. God damn it. You sure you don't want one more drink? Just stay for the rest of the game. Game, game. <laughs> My my grandparents would try to give us everything in their house before we leave. Did I say leaved? Holy shit. My grand <laughs> My grandparents would try to give us we'd get in a fight on the way out. We'd have a great trip starting to starting to walk out. All right, we're getting out of here. See you guys. You want to take this? No, we're good. Come on. Take that. Take the Take the bowl of spaghetti that we just made for everybody here. You take it. No, we're good. Well, you want a bottle of wine? Do you want a bottle of wine? No, we're we're good. Come on. I I'm 12. I don't like no. Do you what about this? You want this fruit basket nobody's gonna eat? Come on, dude. And then we would they'd be like, take something. We'd be like, no, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck, 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 fuck. All right, we're gonna we're getting out of here. Okay, bye. It was like it was like just the cherry on top of a perfect trip. Everybody's like, fuck you. Hashtag, that got me to the ER. Oh, my God. You know what should have got me to the wrong ER? Or what should have got me to the ER? Putting the wrong contact solution in my eye one morning. I don't know who's out there with contact gang. But you ever... I'll sleep in my contacts because I'm like, God, I forget to, I've had contacts for 30 years. I still forget to take those bitches out. And one morning, like it was, I woke up and it, you know, you fall asleep and you wake up at like one and you're like, wait, something's not right. And you're like, oh, I didn't take my contacts out, but you're so tired. You're like, fuck it. So you sleep in them. And then the next morning you got to put some contact solution. Like you got to like refresh your contacts because you got to put them back in and go the rest of the day. And it doesn't even necessarily even like matter, but just don't do it. So you got to refresh your contacts. You got to put some contact solution on there. And I did that. And it's when I was younger. And I put like the hydrogen peroxide cleaner in there with the red cap. I was like, whatever. This will probably just work really good. I think I fell to my knees and everyone downstairs heard it. It was like God struck me like with lightning or something. I was like, ha! crying and shit my eyes the whole day were just blood <laughs> i want to play a game hashtag odd ways to comfort someone for me i swear to god somebody came up to me and goes for me and i was like i'm gonna die odd ways to comfort me somehow get my plans canceled in the night and bring me food bring me a rotisserie chicken bring me a give me a tiss instead of give me a kiss it's the new it's the new shit give me a tiss if you can find one there might be eight rotisserie chickens in the city every day it's like a mad dash to get a rotisserie chicken around here what do i have to do are these jordans on christmas eve if you try to buy a rotisserie chicken after 7 p.m good luck you're not eating. <laughs> I'm going to wait at the door at Whole Foods for a rotisserie chicken. Dude, those are gone in seconds. I know why, too. Because they're so good. That's one thing I totally forgot about when I wasn't eating chicken and meat and shit was rotisserie chickens. Those, bang, what's wrong with them? There's got to be something wrong with them. They're too good. Every time I'm eating something too good, a little alarm goes off in my head. I'm like, bro. You're getting addicted to this shit because it's way too good. What's wrong with it? I can't figure it out. Do they, like, dunk them in butter? <laughs> Every rotisserie chicken. <laughs> Just a bucket of butter ball. <laughs> Do they just, like, inject it with Pam? They're so good. God damn. Merry Christmas to you. Got it, man. All right, let's do days of the week. And then we'll get on to our new seg. 
and we'll bounce. Da 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 da. Days of the week. Thursday. Christmas card day. Mm. That is a cute little fucking thing everybody does is Christmas cards. It's crazy when you get a Christmas card from somebody, you're like, whoa. You have too much time on your hands. Christmas cards? From the blah, blah, blah family. Their dog is always fucking in it. Thanks, guys. I'm like, whoa, you're a real family? Those are still around? If you have a real family, get a life. (laughs) Grow up. Saturday. National Noodle Ring Day. What the fuck's a noodle ring? Ew. No. There's no way. I thought this was like a pool toy. This is a ring of noodles mashed together. That's so gross. I think noodles are weird. You know those big thick noodles? Oh, fuck. Noodles are weird. Noodles are weird. Noodles are weird. Like chicken noodle soup, they're like thin, but just noodles. Oh! Maybe it's the word, the double O. Ew, man. You know those like gelatin rings? It's like that only just bunches of noodles. Fuck. Has anyone ever had a noodle ring? Christmas noodles. Noodle. That should be like the name of a dog or something. Hey, noodles, come here. A name of a cat. cat cats always have those weird fucking names. You know, they ha- cats hate their names so much. You can't even name a cat. Cats don't pay attention to their names. That's why like half of them are called Kitty. <laughs> oh, shit. Like it does anything when you name a cat. Sunday, gingerbread house day. This is my conspiracy theory. I think we're the, this is going to be next week's question. What conspiracy theory do you believe in? For me, I already know mine. For me, they only made Christmas and New Year's so we all don't blow our heads off. I want to play a game. Everything around Christmas is so sexy. Even the poinsettias. Make a poinsettia in the like. Come on, moms and poinsettias. Moms and poinsettias kissing in a tree. Sitting in a tree. K I S S. Moms and poinsettias tissing in a tree. <laughs> All right, y'all. Alex Eakin in the cut. 10 minutes on the Espresso podcast. What's good, man? How you doing? Doing good, man. How are you? Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, hey, your TikTok. <laughs> well, which the- one? about the uh you're popping off on tiktok by the way that's what's up first of all but the this this potential spam is calling oh yeah that's the just a fucking can of spam (laughs) yeah man do you do a tiktok every day yeah sometimes i make like three or four man i i really just been putting out literally anything i can just as fast as i can but uh good shit so you're 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 blowing up on Facebook right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's really helping too. I was gonna tell you, you need to start doing the reels. You need to start putting your shit on there. There's too, Facebook really... reels. Yeah, Facebook reels. It it was weird, dude. I posted the the first one that went viral on TikTok. I posted that one on reels, and then it was telling me that I was getting all these likes, but then I couldn't see the view count because Facebook took reels away for me but it was still going on other people's reels. It was weird. And then all of a sudden I got like the function to do reels again. And I opened it up and it was at like 5 million views or whatever, but I had I no can't idea. I not get on Facebook anymore. You can't? Not really. I don't even know how it works. Like I don't even, like I might not even have a Facebook right now. I just haven't, it's so foreign to me, I think. Yeah. But I mean, you might as well just be putting it on. Oh, can I yeah. cuss on here by the way, or should I not? No, do whatever. Okay, so yeah, you should fucking put your fucking TikTok <laughs> on the on the Facebook Reels, and and also, also, um, you why aren't you putting them on um, the YouTube YouTube Shorts? I didn't think you could monetize on there. 
I mean, fuck monetizing. I mean, dude, I mean, your shit goes viral all the time. It's like, put it on YouTube, man. People will see that shit. I yeah, mean, it's just it's good. good. It's just good for your face to be out there, you know, if you're, you know, pursuing stand up. I just think you might, you just might as well, you know? Yeah, true. Cause I've, I've had videos that like don't do really well on TikTok, or whatever, but they'll get, you know, 17,000 or whatever on the YouTube shorts. So it's just weird. weird to see it's weird where... how it works. Cause on yeah, one, yeah. it'll do well and on the other, it won't. This is good stuff to talk about. For, no, for, I know it is. For, for our I social media that. convention that we're putting on right now. <laughs> well, dude, I think it's so important for comics to be doing this. And last time we did the club together, Derek was there too. And like, I had just seen you blowing up. Like I, we weren't even friends on TikTok, and I was seeing your stuff come through on my for you page. And I was like, damn, like Ben's really got it figured out. Like, to be honest, I didn't realize how like silly and goofy of a motherfucker you really are. Like you, you are way more silly and shit than I ever thought. Like, dude, oh, your shit's great, but you are, ass, you're a goof, dude. you're a goofball, dude. You're a huge <laughs> goofball. And I love it. I love it, man. Hey, how can people follow you real quick? Everything is Alexander the Eakin. Alexander the Eakin. Yeah. Is what you been live? doing today, man? What you been doing? Uh, what did I do today? I, uh, went to the gym and then you hit uh, to go you hit chest uh, on mondays nah dude i'm elliptical all i do is elliptical all day every day that's my, that's my you machine. don't lift you just ride the no elliptical? i'm just i'm just starting to get into it like i do push-ups and then i do my elliptical. are you but, fucking eight <laughs> what are yeah. you talking about hey man hey man whatever dude it's way better than doing nothing i'm, yeah, true, I'm just true, i'm true. getting started i'm getting started on it <laughs> But uh, you look I, like I, you've played sports and stuff before, though. Yeah, I've played sports and stuff before. I remember, I mean, I don't know what vibe I give off, but last time I saw Derek at a show, he comes up to me and he goes, Do you know what baseball is? I'm like, Yeah, I know what baseball is. You think I'm unaware of sports? Like, I don't know why, but yeah, I've played sports. I, I, uh, <laughs> I, so I know what's going on. <laughs> what else do you do, man? I do the I, I sauna. I sauna all the time. Do you sauna? Yeah, the sauna's big. I can't get, I get way too hot in there. I know that's the point. But once like seven minutes hit, I, I kind of start to freak out. Like I think seven, I get I way try, hotter yeah. than normal people, maybe. Yeah, I try to I try to make it to 10 minutes. If I make it to 10 minutes and then I go and I take an immediate like a, a freezing cold shower. I heard that I was some I heard that was psycho. Or does that actually work? The hot cold, hot cold thing uh i mean I, psycho for what purpose for what reasons because like, it's like hard just because it's like is it necessary <laughs> you know what i mean Dude, like, who's I doing mean, all that that do sound like anybody it's just like anybody like you gotta push up or anything in difficult it's like is it even necessary i mean <laughs> i don't think a lot of things you're are like, you're like wait did you play sports <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't do a lot of things because they're necessary. I do them because I, I, I like I, it feels good to me. It feels good. I think it because it like closes your pores really fast. And like, oh, I heard that. I don't know, man. It just it it wakes you up, dude. I don't even need coffee in the morning. Just whoo, do a do a sauna and a, and a co- cold you don't shower drink coffee at all anymore. Um, no, I do. I'm just saying I don't need to. It's not necessary. But uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't give me that f boy laugh i heard that <laughs> sorry man i'm having a good time <laughs> so you're elliptical and, sauna all right what else do you do today man come on i uh give me a second jesus and then i went to uh hey we don't have much time a- bro we got 10 minutes okay i'm going i'm going, I'm going. My, <laughs> sister, my sister's my sister's having a baby because she 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 likes to get cummed in i guess and so she's having a baby and uh yeah, dude, she's getting cummed in, I guess. What? Yeah. Damn. Wait, you you were moving to LA and then you came back here because your sister's having a baby, and then you're gonna go back out there when she's when yeah. it's all said and done. Yeah, when the baby's where out, were you? What was going on in LA when you were out there? Like where'd you live and stuff? I lived on an air mattress on my friend's studio apartment, baby. It was pretty great. It was honestly the happiest I've ever been in my life. Like, are you serious? No job. Yeah, you can't. Oh, me, no man. job. No job. Yeah, no job. Um, I had some cash um, saved up. It was great. So I just literally spent all day because he writes for CBS. He's a CBS uh, sitcom writer. So he's like at work all day and I'm just in L.A. with nothing to do with but have at his time to write. Apartment. 
Yeah, yeah. But it was it was great, man. I learned a lot and I can't wait to go back up. Were you doing the shows at like 2 p.m. and shit at the fourth wall? I didn't I didn't do any afternoon shows, but I did have did you ever do that show in the alleyway? Like yeah. that. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, dude, but you, you pay five bucks to perform and then the fucking producers get drunk and help you. It's like, dude, it's like, why are you heckling me right now? I just paid you five bucks. And it, yes, it was a it was a nightmare. But uh, what clubs have, do you do when you go out there? Do you did you audition any clubs? Uh, flappers, the ha ha. Yeah. I got up on uh, at the Laugh Factory, like just for their open mic. I wasn't on like That's a show, show, but I still got on. And then no, that's awesome. I was on, I was on the, at the com, at the comedy store, the, I forget what Pollock. it's called. No, that, and there's an actual show I was on and I was like, whoa. What, Kill God. Tony? Huh? Kill Tony? No, I was in that, like, I tried to get on that show probably like 18 yeah. weeks in a row. Never did. Really? Oh, that's yeah. Crazy. That's funny. The first time I went to the store, I got on Potluck. Cause I ran into Adam Ray. Do you know who that is? Yeah. You know him? Yeah. I ran. Yeah. Well, I just, I went up to him. I was like, Hey man, I'm a comedian. I'm a big fan. He was like, awesome. You want to go on the Pollock tomorrow? I was like, yeah. He got me. That in. was recently. <laughs> no, this was like a long time was, ago. I think I was 21. I had been doing stand up for like two years. I had no business going over. He there. was like running the open mic or something. No, no, it was, we were staying at the hotel next to the store. And so I was just hanging out on the patio, get drunk, fucked up, whatever. And he came out, he was doing a set and he came out to get a drink at the bar. And I was just like, big fan, Adam, appreciate yeah. you. You know, I'm a, I'm a comedian in the middle. First time caller, long time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he was just, he was so dope. He was just like, he was like, yeah, man, that's great. You want to do a spot at the potluck? And I was like, yes. And How'd I sobered do? up and I was like, this is bad. But yeah. How did you do at the store? I was, I was on the potluck and I was first to go. So they were like, oh. There were like only ghosts there from the comedy store. Oh yeah. There. Oh, I know, dude. I know, dude. It's that room is brutal, dude. I <laughs> I did my whole set to no laughs, and the only big laugh I got at the end was I was just me like giving up, like, well, none of that worked, and then like that got a laugh, and then I just left, dude. It was it was brutal. <laughs> none of that worked. Oh, and I was giving it my all too. I was just like being really like cartoonish. I know, me it too. It didn't like, this guy's not from here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah i think we hit our 10 minutes dog i think so too all right well thanks for having me ben yeah bro hey you should come come on the real thing in a couple of weeks the real thing i just discredited this whole entire segment <laughs> yeah. do i get a second interview yeah i'll come out, I'll come out oh, for sure come to indy we'll make a little tick and then we'll do a pod how's that sound all i shorten right, every word so all right, great, man. That sounds great, dude. Well, I'll see you. Enjoy the rest of your podcast. Hey, man. Love you. All right, love you too. Hey, back. Bye. All right, all right. Dude. That's the end of Shop 188. Remember to join the Patreon for that extra episode and some bloopers every now and then. Yeah, dude. I love you guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for uh, commenting, sharing. Remember to follow on all platforms. Tell the homies. And the homegirls about the pod because it's popping. I saw a couple Spotify raps with the espresso pod on there, and that's exciting. I love you guys for it, man. Okay, I'll talk to you guys next week. I found.